Today we are testing the cam and crank sensors on a 2004 Nissan Altima with a 2.4 engine and about 58,000 miles on it. This vehicle also has a drive-by-wire accelerator system that has carbon buildup. We will clean the throttle plate and the body bore. After this service, it may be necessary to perform an idle air relearn procedure. According to the service bulletin, the factory scan tool is required to perform this procedure. We will show you an alternative method anyone can do, no tools required. The cam and crank sensors have nearly identical wiring diagrams. The only differences are the pins they connect to on the computer. In fact, they are both the same part number for this vehicle, so they are both tested the same way. They are a Hall Effect type producing a digital 0 to 12 volt signal. For an accurate analysis, this signal can only be tested with a lab scope. Back probe the center or signal pin of the sensor, as in this diagram, available on our website. Set the voltage scale to an amount greater than 12 volts. The higher the setting, the smaller the pattern. The entire cam sensor pattern on this vehicle is a 1, 3, 4, 2 pulse, identifying the relative cylinder. At this RPM, we found the best setting to be 200 milliseconds per division to see the entire pattern. Setting the division lower will show less of the pattern, but more detail. The crank sensor is located in a very challenging position behind the engine block near the transaxle, as you can see in the mirror. Superimposing the crank and cam signals can be a very useful tool when diagnosing a failed timing belt on this vehicle. Both these sensors are functioning properly. We will explore more detailed lab scope techniques in future productions. As you can see, cleaning the throttle plate and bore in this vehicle is a relatively simple task. But when the idle increases after the cleaning, the job can turn into a real nightmare. The service bulletin concerning a high idle and trouble code P0507 states, to bring the idle speed back to normal, the factory scan tool must be used to relearn idle air control. Here is an alternative method you might want to try. The engine and transmission must be at running temperature. The charging system must be functioning properly. The transmission must be in park or neutral. All electrical loads must be turned off and the steering wheel must be straight. When all these parameters are met, turn the ignition switch on for 3 seconds and off for 10, three times in succession. Then turn the ignition on again for three seconds and step the accelerator to the floor and release it five times within five seconds. With your foot off the accelerator, Wait 7 seconds and press it to the floor and hold it there. After about 10 seconds, the mill will begin to blink. If it does not blink, within 20 seconds, restart the procedure. The mill will blink for about 10 seconds and then come on steady. Then release the accelerator within 3 seconds and start the engine. When the relearn is successful, you will see a dramatic drop in RPM. As you can see, our vehicle is ready to go. See you next time in the Wells Garage.